off rip, I want to say RP to the author of this shit. I don't even remember what the cause of death was. Still RP to the nigga. Um, this is probably one of the best zombie related things I've read. Probably one of the best zombie related things in general. Not number one, but it's up in the top like 10 probably. Off topic, but I feel like we can all agree Left 4 Dead is probably the best zombie game of all time, and I'm not debating. What you gonna say, Last of Us? I'll smack you. Whatever, back to the manga. Really wish this shit could get an ending, but you know, nigga not here. Sad shit. RP, bro. I don't even remember how long it was since a nigga died. Probably been a minute though. That being said, this author was a freak ass nigga in this manga, so there's gonna be heavy censoring. But to be honest, the anime was 10 times freakier, bro. They added some extra scenes or extra frames in the anime that was not in the manga. And I've also already did a video on this, on the anime, not the manga, but I've already done a video on the anime like two months ago, whatever. My manga videos tend to be long, but this is only 30 chapters, so we're gonna speed through this bitch. I'm hoping not to have to make a part two. Obviously, you know, manga starts off on the normal zombie bullshit. Niggas getting murked off. Niggas like, what's happening? All that cool shit. Oh, one more fucking disclaimer for you. You see this bitch right here, Ray? Whatever her name was, I'm finna hate the fuck out of her because she was annoying as a bitch. Whatever. MC sees some shit going on at the front gate of the school. He goes to warn his bitch. Niggas is all like, what? What are you doing? He's talking about niggas is getting killed at the gate and niggas trying to worry about what are you doing? Ain't gonna lie. I know some people say it's like shock or whatever. I hear a nigga say people are literally eating each other alive outside. I'm booking it. I'm not thinking to ask this nigga questions. That's just me personally though. You know, niggas keep doing stupid shit. So he just slapped the bitch in front of her nigga too, which is crazy. I don't even remember bro's name because he dies in a minute. Spoiler warning, I guess. But bro in the back right there. Yeah, that's his nigga. I mean her nigga. And he just let him smack the bitch out of her. He, he can't even do nothing about it. He was just sitting there, dot, dot, dot. This nigga said, shut your ass up. And then the niggas just decided to group up and run to the fucking rooftop or something. And literally on the whole way, this dumb bitch Ray is just complaining, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Even the way she's drawn pisses me off, dude. Look at her. Ugly as fuck, bro. I'm telling you. Whatever. After all that. Some niggas come on the PA system talking about zombies and shit, and then everybody starts panicking. Whatever, back to the main niggas. On their way up to the rooftop, they find this zombie out here. Obviously, niggas try to kill it. Then this nigga gets bit. Don't remember his name? R.I.P. Bro, I guess. I couldn't care less for him. He don't die immediately, though. Whatever, after that, they make it up to the roof. And obviously, the nigga got bit, so he's cooked. Nigga starts turning and shit. So he's like, hey, kill me. I don't want to be no monster whole time this nigga dying out finna become a monster this bitch crying over the nigga body like damn i know that's your nigga and all but like can you back the fuck up before you get bit honestly i wouldn't mind if she died here too with that nigga please kill her so then obviously mc's like all right homie i'll fulfill your wish and he's finna kill the nigga and she's like no he's not gonna do it like stop dude he's not gonna change or whatever like get your dumb ass out here you ain't seen them 50 zombies run through your school like nigga you know what's up you gotta kill the nigga but whatever i guess she in denial on some pushy shit but i I don't know. Nigga like me would just push her away and just smack him, but it's whatever. Whatever. Nigga gets up and turns to a zombie. He ain't even get his wish to die as a human. All because this bitch wanted to cry. It's whatever though. MC handles that. This is pretty much where I hated the bitch the most. She's uh finna go on a lost streak for a cool little while for the next 10 panels. So obviously after nigga kills the nigga, she crying and shit, whatever. Who cares about that? And then she talking about some. I wish it was me. The MC was like, nah, he wouldn't have wondered that. And then she's going to be like, how would you know that? Did, bitch, did you forget that you were all homies? Or that they were homies since like middle school, my nigga? Did you forget that? Or like what? He just lost a nigga too. But nah, I guess you're the only important one here, right? And then she was like, oh, I get it now. You're just jealous because I was with him instead of you. And honestly, bro, I would have just left there. I would have jumped off the building. I would not want to be with that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. And he kind of gets like the same idea. Instead of jumping off the building though, he just tries to walk off. And as soon as this nigga's finna dip, she's like, stop, stop, don't go. Cause she's too scared to be by herself. She pussy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And she takes back every single word she just said, bro. Whatever, I guess she was grieving or whatever. Bullshit. 
justification you want hoes on to say whatever we passed that whatever long story short after all that mc and bitch meet up with some other people um let me just go over them right quick because they have like their little side stories but i just haven't talked about them uh there's this bitch with the ponytail she's kind of like a sundere i guess then this bitch in the back she's like a samurai nigga then we got boy on the left with the glasses he's like a nerd like a gun geek or a military buff or whatever the fuck and then some fucking doctor i don't got no good frame on her so whatever whatever all the niggas decide to group up and you know obviously try to survive this bullshit niggas band up start to head out the building talking about some they're gonna oh go check on their families and shit like that and they end up running into this other group of survivors saves them and then they all dip and try to get on the bus while they're trying to get on the bus they see this group of niggas running now this nigga right here in the left and the glasses and the suit oh yeah he a weird ass nigga like okay no he's a weird ass nigga but his suit is nice i can't hold you despite how weird the nigga his suit is nice that's all i got and this nigga ray tries to warn the nigga talking about some nah it's better off to leave this nigga to die which is crazy because you were just trying to like keep your nigga alive but whatever i know she knows the nigga's like fucked up or whatever but i don't even think he even did anything crazy to her i'm pretty sure he just like fucked her great over and made her repeat a year or something i don't think it's worth killing a nigga over but whatever i might be wrong though i only remember it vividly it's whatever though they all make it onto the bus <laughs> and pretty much offer if this nigga gets on some shady shit talking about some oh we need a leader and i think i'm the best suited and then you know he has some dick rider students in the back who all vote for him and you know all that cool shit but then this emotional bitch right just decides to jump out the fucking bus talking about some nah i'd rather die than being here with this nigga bro just sit down it's a 30 minute ride nigga you causing problems that don't need to be here all because the nigga made you fail a grade whatever though obviously mc's loser ass decides to follow her though so they split up from the group it's only it's only temporarily though anyways niggas is walking around the city they're gonna like meet up at a fucking police station or something they happen to find a bike that has fuel in it and a gun that has bullets in it. I guess it's not that rare. The apocalypse did just start, so I guess it's not that crazy. W luck though. Anyways, they stop at a gas station to get gas. Don't ever buy no gas on the gas station. But them niggas is broke, so MC decides to go in the store and, you know, crack the safe open. But yeah, he left her outside by herself. Then this uh weird looking ass nigga pop up on her, talking about some I right, drop your money, drop everything, and I'm taking my girl with you. I mean, taking your girl with me. Long story short though, MC runs up on the nigga point blank pops them in the shoulder then they leave the nigga to die because some zombies are on the way because they react to sound and shit long story short niggas cooked and now ray is just on the nigga's dick right after her nigga died literally the day before or actually i think it might have been the same day i don't even think the day even ended my nigga it might have been the same day same night her nigga died she's already riding another nigga dick crazy let's just say the only important ones in the fucking survivor group from earlier decide i this fucking slick rick ass nigga looking pretty fucking crazy so they just all dip off the train too i mean bus and then they eventually run into mc and ray i don't remember nobody's name i ain't gonna lie anyways they decide to head to the nurse bitch's fucking friend's house that is conveniently a military fucking base apparently all type of fucking crazy guns and i had a humvee parked in the back uh, oh yeah my nigga we're not done with the ray else she's finna take another one tonight bro so ray and mc are just sitting on the stairs talking and shit and she's always bringing up her nigga that just died while she's flirting with the nigga she's literally flirting with the nigga grabbing on his shit while saying i'm so sad that my nigga died while he's while she's cuddled up with this nigga at least mc told her bitch ass off though if i wrote this i'd kill her author knew how to make a perfectly good annoying bitch that's why samurai girls 10 times better and then right after telling the nigga off she went in for the fucking smooch bro it's so weird bro she's just out here hoeing bro that's all it is whatever some shit starts happening across the street so obviously mc goes to check it out with a uh, military dude i'm just gonna call him that and he notices fucking little girl with her dad that just got packed up by some weird ass niggas and then obviously the zombies are on their way to her but obviously he's the fucking main character so he goes in on some hero shit and saves the little nigga now they got a kid in the fucking group honestly it's finna it's finna sound mad fucked up but maybe you know you should have just let the kid you know i know it sounds crazy but maybe you should have just let it go because you know if we being honest 
and if we're, if we're logically speaking, like no emotions, no feelings into it, if we're logically speaking, she's just weighing down the team. It's called natural selection. If we're being real, if I'm in a zombie apocalypse, well, I'm not going to even try to zo survive in a zombie apocalypse. Let me just say that. But if I were to want to survive, there's going to be no kids in the group. That's all it is. No kids and no old people. If they're old, they got to be like the reliable old people, not no wheelchair old people whatever niggas is moving tactical now they decided to abandon the they decided to abandon the crib they was just staying at because you know zombies everywhere and shit but they take the guns and the humvee and all that cool shit obviously why would they leave it behind that'd be stupid everything's going good till niggas hit a fucking wire trap and homies get thrown off the damn car obviously mc jumps down saves her and all that cool shit long story right before niggas get cooked these firefighter niggas pop through spray down the zombies with hoses everything's cool only question is who the hell put them wire traps up in the middle of the highway they just trying to get niggas fucked over oh yeah and also the firefighter happened to be the fucking sundari bitch's mom i'm gonna call her like pigtails for now because i hate saying that word sundari it's a weird word to say and they all decide to go back to their fucking settlement camp where uh pig hair bitches pig hair pigtail hit bitches mom and they pretty much living on a mansion settlement with a whole lot of guns a whole lot of guards a whole lot of shit going on electricity a whole lot of good shit you know but we all know it's a zombie fucking manga that shit not lasting long story short zombies pull up to the function bust that bitch down side note pigtail bitch's dad stand up real last nigga he said why would i leave my place i'm finna stay here and scrap it out it's my home i fuck with that everybody in the main group left though after that there's this small like few chapter arc with uh mc and the samurai girl because they get like split up and then you know mc starts putting the moves on some chill shit like that i'm gonna skip that anyways after all that cool traveling shit niggas end up niggas end up finding them all that has other people in it so they join another group but you already know that shit don't last but we're gonna you know talk about the in-between shit for a minute off rip i'm gonna say this cop bitch uh she was kind of annoying but she was cool around the end but like for a minute she was kind of annoying she's just on that self-deprecating time and i find that kind of fucking annoying if i'm being honest i just feel like 90 percent of the time niggas when they hate on themselves just want attention so I, don't know, I just don't give a fuck whatever and she's a fucking cop that's scared to do the cop responsibilities so yeah pretty much a failure if i'm keeping it up being stacked but i would like to say military nigga he was standing on business this arc my nigga i ain't gonna lie he was standing on shit this arc he's always like about that time but like now he was definitely doing a lot of work he even had cop girl on his dick and she even asked the nigga to like you know say fuck your group and join us he rejected her though good shit then she started tweaking because she saw like one of her co-workers like dead as a zombie or whatever right after she got rejected so then she started like you know flipping out so then you know obviously boy is trying to calm her down then she just turned around and say nigga get your fat ass on somewhere she swapped up quick as hell but then i guess you know he did reject her so you know i, I guess man whatever obviously zombies are on the way so the niggas decide they finna dip out the mall whatever right after all that shit military buff dude just goes up there to the cop bitch and is talking about something nah fuck all that yeah 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 motivational speech whatever then she decides fuck these people i'm supposed to serve and protect i quit being a cop and then just joins that group but i ain't gonna lie to you that character development that that cop bitch had at the last moment ain't gonna stop shit let's just say long story short she gets surrounded by some zombies and she's talking about some nah i don't want to go out like this so she says hey fat nigga shoot my shit you know what that nigga do that image is crazy this image is hard as hell i ain't gonna lie with the fucking cross shot on this bitch i might like crop this and like put on her shirt this shit is hard but yeah, uh, she gets popped. Whatever. Fucking military nigga go through like a cool little email arc, but he gets over it pretty quickly with some motivational speech. And this is pretty much where like the manga starts wrapping up. Well, let's not say wrapping up. It's getting to a cliffhanger, but we never get to see the ending. Before I get to that shit, I'm going to gloss over a few details that I'm finna skip. I'm just skipping over them because, you know, obviously the shit never got finished. So they're not really too important for me to, you know, include because you never get a follow up on them. But basically that, uh, what was her name? I already forgot. I was hating on her so much, so much earlier. Oh yeah, Ray. 
she fucking goes to, you know, their little place trying to find her family and shit. They end up finding her dad's, like, stationed up at this elementary school, protecting it and shit. So their plan was just to head there and shit because MC's family is supposed to be there, too. On the way there, they run into fucking Ray's mom and she joins the group also. And pretty much, literally, the last panels of the shit was just these niggas walking through the rain, shooting zombies, cool shit niggas is fitted up and fucking ponchos and shit and that's pretty much where it, it ends my nigga there's nothing left like we didn't even get put on no cliffhanger or nothing like the final chapter like the final panel wasn't even a cliffhanger or nothing bro it was just some chill shit <laughs> I, I need to find a fucking finished zombie manga because you know i need it paused but then again i feel like there's not gonna be a lot that are as good as this one is that dick eating probably this shit is hard pause anyways there's not really shit for me to talk about so i'm gonna see y'all